What's going on guys, Glad Ark here this time, bit of a name change, but this is going to be the future and most more permanent home of Glad's Ark this time, got all the animals running around and it's a early morning, a bit cold but that's not going to stop us, but in this video I'm going to show you and tell you about all the ideas we have right before we start building everything, just a bit of before of all the stuff, let's get started. So this is Zazu three of the chickens because in one of the last videos we built this chicken enclosure for them they're out free roaming all the time but i'll let you go and we have rafiki and Hunger, the other two chickens and when i bring all my animals down my two bantam chickens doris and brownie will be going in here as well just to add to the flock and yeah this is holding up nice we're gonna do Similar things to this enclosure for the duck enclosure, which will be going here. So all along here will be the duck enclosure. We're gonna build a nice big pond around here, and this, we've got lots of the rocks that we come in here. We're gonna get a fine for rock, but this is just some of the rocks that we've got for building the pond. We're gonna have a nice massive bog filter, waterfalling into a nice pond for all the ducks, and they'll be able to probably get more ducks in the future but this will be a nice area to house Dursley and Severus. So we're in this video we're going to be taking down the rest of this this was just a permanent rabbit pen for letting the rabbits out we're going to take that down and we're going to put posts in the ground that will show you that we got a couple days ago and we're going to make it a lot bigger coming out to like here going across and down there and then there's going to be a massive rabbit pen and then we'll, inside there we're going to make some pens for the guinea pigs that I have at my house and then we're gonna have it for the rabbits we have over here so these are five female rabbits they're all sisters and they are uh, well outgrowed this so we're gonna make them a separate thing for them to constantly run around and have a lot more space and a lot of grass to eat for them So this is Georgie's house that we built in a previous video and Georgie's keen on his <laughs> platform but yeah we built this. We're going to be keeping this because it's nice and sturdy but we'll be replacing this house and make it a much bigger house for him to go on and a lot more open because this is starting to break as constant jumping on it but we'll replace it and make it more permanent. So this is where a parrot aviary is going to go for all my budgies and cockatiels, which we get more parrots, but massive aviary going here, and then along it, starting from here, in this area, it's going to be a big finch aviary that we're going to be building soon also, and yeah, it's going to be awesome. So if you follow me this way, as the chickens follow us and come and do it today, we've got two more rabbits there, we'll introduce you to all the new babies that we had. And this is some stuff that we've got, as you can see, we've got him this round platform, which is great. These are like free, so you can always get them if you have goats. And we scored a nice little mini trampoline that works works pretty great, that Georgia will love in the backyard. And we have 60 of these quarter round posts that we'll be using to build and board up and mesh the all the enclosures that we'll be building in the backyard. So in this garden shed is what we're going to be turning into the fish room. It's currently got a bunch of food for the animals and stuff as Georgie already knows where it is. But over here you can see we've already got two nice big tanks. Thinking this might be a nice big angel fish tank and put some ideas for this big tank when we build the fish room. But we're going to do redo the floors, put in some walls and insulation and then paint it all, make it all look great. You won't even know it's a garden shed. So we've got this new collar for Georgie, obviously from Kmart, good old Kmart, as this collar is tearing apart. So we've got a nice new collar for him. I think he'll suit the blue and then we got some two coloured clips for the chickens as they get older we'll less likely be able to tell between them so we got some clips just so we know for sure which is which so just take that one off and then we'll see if this is a nice fit <laughs> if we can 
get to him. Georgie. Perfect. Look at these suits there, very nicely. And now time to do the chicken's clips. So we put an orange one on Rafiki, because you know, it just sounds like an orange, an orange name. And then we got a blue one to put on one of the other two. And then we'll know the one that doesn't have one. So this is Kunga. He's gonna have a blue clip, which we're just gonna put around his foot. If I can do that with one hand. And then Zazu won't have a clip at all. But yeah, I think those will look terrific. So his clip is on, and now we're going to put him down to join the rest of the flock. There he goes. And see, perfect size bands. Don't bother them at all. And now I'll just go back. So these are some of the babies of one of the two litters that we had. We had this one was a litter of nine, and the other one was a litter of four. We have sold a few, and obviously, sadly, a couple have died, as usually that happens to one or two with big litters. Yeah, these are the ones that we still have. We are keeping Kuale, the boy, that's brown, and then the rest are still up for sale, and now we will introduce you to last baby over here. So here is one of the babies. This is the baby. This is the mother. They're almost the same size now, and they are so poofy and soft, and all the babies are so friendly. They're just adorable. And over here is going to be a peacock house if we pass this bush. So all along here, the compost will be moved, but this will all be a peacock house. And then, because we hope to get a peacock in the future, and the peacock obviously will be let out in the yard with the chickens, ducks, and goat. But this will be his residing home next to the duck pen. And this concrete pad down here will be cleared off and will be good for storing all the food under a shelter that we'll build. And Georgie is running around crazy, loving his new collar. Yep, that's goats for you. Georgie, come over here. And as you can see, Georgie is going crazy. And so he has slowly been destroying all the rabbit hutches. So that's why they're a bit busted up in this like pallets and stuff on top of all the cages because Georgie is just <laughs> running and jumping over all of them. And so when we build all the enclosures, we will need to build them five feet or higher so that Georgie can't jump into the enclosures so that all the animals will be safe as you can see there. And as I forgot to mention at the start of the video, this is my face that no one has ever seen on my videos, but face reveal now, and I'm gonna be having Mrs. Galar as the camera woman from now on, filming everything that happens in this backyard. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching all the animals and are excited for all the ideas and plans we have for the backyard here and the fish room. I know you guys will be excited for that, but thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.